Yeah, I'd like to pray the prayer of faith for you this morning. Uh, the Bible tells us in the book of James chapter 5 that if anybody sick among you, let him go to the elders and they will pray the prayer of faith and uh, they will be healed. I'm an elder or an older person in Christ and a full-time minister of God for more than 20 years. So I'm here to minister needs to you. I am full of the Spirit of God. Speaking in tongues, I say to you, my children, your redemption is here. Look up. Look up. I have provided the way for you, the truth for you, and the life for you, which you now will receive. Okay, I'd like to pray for those that are sick, first of all. Please put your hand on the computer. Join me in prayer. Wahangari Antishara. I break the power of sickness in your life. I set you free. Be free in Jesus' name. I curse the sickness and command it to leave. Right now, whatever you are is not too difficult for God to kill you sickness and to make that person whole. All deadly sickness, disease, and disability. If you have something wrong with your leg, stretch it out now. Or your arm, stretch it out now. And watch it grow. Watch the bones come together. Just watch it before your eyes. Expect it. The Lord is here. Now, Lord, touch them. Touch them, Jesus. Make them whole. Thank you, Jesus. Your presence is here. And those that believe you and have faith in you, this hour, this day, as they listen to this broadcast, will be healed, set free, and delivered. According to the covenant that you've made with us, and according to the mighty power of God which you've given to me to minister to them. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. That's your healing. I don't care. Cancers? Oh. Blephritis? Oh. Eye diseases? Ear diseases? No problem. They're healed. They're healed. I've seen these things healed. They're healed now, even through the internet. Right now, the Lord is in your room. As you listen to this, he's standing beside you. On the right hand side, he stands to minister grace to you, healing to you, a miracle to you, right now in Jesus' name. Now the covenant that we have with Jesus Christ is not a feel-good covenant. It's not a covenant that brings luxuries and spoiltness and uh, just general uh, disapproving attitude in his children. It's a covenant that provides the needs that we need. 2 Peter 1 verse 3 tells us that he's given us everything for life and godliness. Godliness doesn't mean that you're rich. Not rich in material things anyway. But godliness does mean that everything you need is given to you. You may not need fat, luxurious flabby making foods. You may not need takeaways, but you do need basic diet. And God will give you that, because God is a God who provides your needs, not your wants or greeds. So if you're suffering from a lack of uh, uh, money, or food, or shelter, clothing, the basic needs that humans need, God has promised in his covenant that you will be supplied by him. He also gave a condition in Mark, Matthew 6.33. He said, Don't seek after these things. Seek after my righteousness and my kingdom, and all these things will be added to you. Now, if you promise to do that, 
instead of going fundraising, instead of going seeking the money, seek God, then you're the right one today for me to pray for. Put your hand on the laptop right now and agree with me in prayer. In the name of Jesus, I command you to have all your needs. I rebuke the devourer. I cast down demon powers and I make you free. Free to receive the goodness of God and free to receive the money you need from Him. Expect it, for God will bring it to you now, shortly. In Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems you from the pit and delivers you from all your destructions, who makes you strong again and allows you to fly with eagle's wings and rise above the weakness of your body, mind, soul or society around you. The Lord is to be blessed. Now go thanking Him and believing Him expecting it because it's yours amen it's not done by man it's done by god praise the lord amen for those of you who are sick let me tell you that matthew chapter 8 verse 17 go and read it promises you that jesus took all your diseases and all your weaknesses believe it it's yours god bless you